on Stacy. And this is my retro time machine. I know a lot of you have been pretty curious about what the inside of my home actually looks like. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to show you guys around and introduce you guys to some of my favorite things inside my home. All right, here we go. One of the things you'll notice as we go through the home is my love of vintage light fixtures. So keep your eye out for those as we continue the tour. In the near future, I will definitely be making some videos about how I do these bell jars and making an easy walkthrough so you can make them along with me. I love the pop and impact they give to any room. Make a great gift too. We really don't have a ton of art in our dining room, but we were gifted this vintage kimono and I have loved it ever since. It is just a wow piece to have. These are one of my favorite items in my home. They actually used to belong to my maternal grandmother. And the funny thing is, is she found them in the trash. I had them cleaned up and framed, but I definitely know where my love of thrifting came from. <laughs> Having this LED light here in my mudroom allows me to rotate my house plants throughout the house. You may recognize a few items in this room from previous videos. We definitely have our upcycled bookshelf and our DIY paper flowers out of toilet paper rolls, all available in the videos and my page. I find this print absolutely stunning. So it's a print and then embellished with watercolor. And I'm going to be basing my bedroom off of this. So I gave my bedroom a 1920s, 1930s vibe because it was very common to see in a 1950s home. It's not my favorite room, but I'll definitely get to showing you the few of my favorites that I have left. If you are enjoying this video, please take a second to like and subscribe to my channel. I bet you guys recognize these from a previous video also my awesome 1950s TV trays. And of course, with my love of all things 1950s and 60s, I've got my I Dream of Genie bottle and my little genie figurine, which matches our poodle genie. Most of the art you will see around the home is by a Romanian artist named Vio. I will try to post a link of his to his Facebook in the video description. And here are some more of my lovely bell jars that I absolutely enjoy making. This room is definitely one of my favorite rooms in the home. I call it the green room, but it's a nice little sun room where I can relax and read and have all my baby plants growing. It's just absolutely peaceful here. And this chair is so cool. You will definitely see why every 1950s housewife wanted one of these. <laughs> How funny is that? A vintage massage chair. It actually works really well. I've had two chairs like this before and they are incredibly comfortable and great for relaxing. If you have any questions or comments about maybe an item you see on a shelf or something I didn't remark about, please feel free to ask and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Now on to probably my favorite room in the whole house, the kitchen. So the oven is the same age as the home, which is 1954, and it is a O'Keefe and Merritt oven. It's got five pilot lights and is a beast of an oven, but it has some really cool features I'd like to go through with you guys. 
So here we have the Grillivator, which is an adjustable rack that acts like a barbecue inside your oven. It is great for kebabs, not best for long-term pieces of meat, but it is so great for that crispy finish. So here you can see the Thermomatic knob, and it has a bunch of temperatures on it. So this is actually a temperature sensing burner. It reads the temperature through this little guy right here. So you can set your pot or pan to a certain temperature, and it will heat it up, and when it gets to that point, it'll kind of kick back the flame, and then whenever it gets too cold, it'll warm it back up again. This little guy here is a silver butter dish. I think he is super atomic because he looks like a spaceship. Got this from one of my clients at his garage sale. Now another cool feature that this has is the griddle. So you can see here it also has a great temperature sensor. It's pretty easy to clean and also tucks away so you don't have to worry about it. Love it. Haven't used it much though. <laughs> Here you can see my vintage reprint wallpaper. I wanted to kind of tie in all the colors in the kitchen and I felt like that paper did such a good job. I got it on Etsy. Speaking of Etsy, I also got these decals on Etsy. You can make something new vintage and make it work. These are my wonderful jello molds. You guys know how much I love to do jello art, so I had to show these off. Now, believe it or not, I actually painted this refrigerator. You can get refrigerator paint or appliance paint in the uh, hardware store. I just had it tinted to this mint parfait color by asking very sweetly, and I followed the instructions and was able to make over my refrigerator into something far more suited for the space. Uh, the inside handles and outside pulls I also painted with Rust-Oleum and a hammered silver, I believe. And I did the little details inside, like the pull-out trays or the ice box. I think this was such a fun project, and hopefully I get to do another one sometime soon. I absolutely adore these original vintage cobalt blue glass knobs. Oh my gosh. So when it comes to my glassware and dishware, I have an eclectic set of Fenton crystal, some carnival glass that belonged to my grandmother, some uranium glass that I picked up at different stores, but also these Hazel Atlas Capri Blue dishes that are my pride and joy. And of course, I've got a hodgepodge like everyone does of different vintage dishware and Pyrex, all kinds of cool things. This was one of my first vintage appliance purchases. I got this at Round Top in Texas for like $10 brand new. I'm sure you guys can definitely see that I put my heart and soul into my kitchen, but let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the house. So here we have our guest room and we like to call it the blue room and you will see why here in a second. On the walls, we have a collection of vintage tools that belong to my husband's great-great-grandfather, I believe, and also this beautiful dresser set that we picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for $200. I think they just go so well together in this room, give it a little bit of a masculine vibe, and it's a nice place to get people to rest their head when they come visit. Now, the blue bathroom is something unique. I absolutely love this pocket shower with the original floor and everything, but it is quite tiny. It fits me pretty well, but if you're a little bigger, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> the
these little retro gas wall heaters were super handy to have during the crazy freeze and snowstorm that we had in Texas. But overall, I really love this as a guest room and I love the vintage vibe that everything gives off. I'm gonna head on down the hallway to some other things. So this room here is our office or could have been a future nursery. Um, we don't have anything too crazy unique in here. It's just a lot of storage and a lot of crafting. But this bathroom is sure to knock your socks off. Here we have some more of that vintage reprint wallpaper. This is probably more of an art deco vibe. I felt like it pulled in some nice masculine tones. And I've absolutely loved having this vintage laundry hamper with the little cutouts ah, and the original pulls. So amazing. The details in this bathroom are just absolutely dreamy with the pink and gray and the few little changes that I've made I think really tie it together. Boy howdy, talk about a bathroom. <laughs> Okay, well let's go on to another room in the house and let's go check out the Airbnb. So this is from the carport area and we're just gonna walk straight through to this little gate. And this is the entrance, separate entrance to the Airbnb. A lot of people ask me what this is. So this is a vintage per machine by Reeling. It's actually the first patent to be held by an African-American woman. Um, and it is such a piece of history, but also a throwback to my love of hair. Some of you guys may recognize this furniture from my salon, so all of these colors are actually stains from when I used to dye hair, and there's nothing like it. For me, this was probably my least favorite bathroom to work with because the tile color is like skin color, but I wanted to pull in some bright, fun, funky tones in rainbows, and I used tape to kind of tape off this design. I do think the pocket shower's nice, it's pretty big. So it worked out all in the end and I'm very happy with it. My neighbors actually have this light in their basement and it works perfectly. So I'm very happy with how it turned out in the end. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably curious about this awesome wall. Well, it is actually taped and painted. It took me a couple days, but the impact is amazing and it was far cheaper than wallpaper. I will be doing a tutorial on how to do this so you guys can kind of recreate a huge impact wall in your home. I get so many compliments on this and I definitely need to show you guys how to do it yourself. So a lot of cool things don't have to be totally vintage. This light is actually from Ikea. <laughs> I think it is so groovy. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my little home tour. And if you enjoyed this video, please take a second to like, comment, and subscribe to my page for more. And like always, take care and God bless.